Hey everybody, it's FemTruber and today we're going to be talking about my experience at the 2016 Calgary Expo. So for those of you who don't know, the Calgary Expo is a huge convention that takes place once a year in Calgary for four days, which is pretty long. A lot of conventions aren't that long. They get guests from all different realms, from music to uh, sci-fi shows, horror, fantasy, uh, comic related actors, like whatever. Uh, tons of people come, voice actors, uh, creators, artists, anybody. It's just a big entertainment expo, obviously leaning towards uh, you know, the nerdy, geeky side, um, which is why they get a lot of guests from science fiction shows, fantasy shows, uh, you know, superhero movies, that kind of thing. It's a really big deal. It's one of the biggest conventions in North America. It's one of the biggest conventions in the world. As of right now, it stands at about the fifth biggest in North America, according just to numbers and everything. It's around the fifth biggest. Um, I'm hoping that it will get in the top three or four someday. It's the second biggest in Canada. Uh, the one in Toronto is currently the biggest, but Calgary is the second. Uh, it's done really well, and this was actually my seventh time going. It is excellent. Uh, I participate in everything. I go all four days. I really get into it. This is like geek Christmas. So let's talk about all the big, big, big media guests that came to the Calgary Expo because there were a lot this year. They got a ton of big names from Stan Lee to Billy Piper, William Shatner, Clark Gregg, John Barrowman. Uh, geez, there's so many. Uh, Peter Mayhew, which who's Chewie from uh, Star Wars, uh, Carl Urban, uh, Tom Felton, uh, Famke Jansen, Charles Martinet, who I met, which is very exciting, uh, Brandon Routh, uh, like tons and tons of big names came this year, which was excellent. Uh, they've had a few years at the Calgary Expo where they've sort of had these, uh, you know, big, big show reunions. One year they had an Aliens reunion, so everybody from Aliens was there, like Sigourney Weaver was awesome. And uh, one year, uh, which was the, the crazy year, <laughs> Uh, they had a Star Trek Next Generation reunion, so like everybody, like Patrick Stewart, like all the Next Generation people were there. It was excellent. Um, so yeah, the Calgary Expo is a big deal, and uh, everyone gets into it, and there's a huge parade on the Friday. It starts Thursday, but on Friday morning, they do this Parade of Wonders, and all the, not all, but a lot of the guests... Uh, who come, they participate in the parade, and anybody who dresses up walk, gets to walk in the parade, and lots of people come out downtown uh, to come and see this big sort of geeky parade full of cosplayers, media guests, um, Mayor Nenshi comes out, it's awesome, and uh, yeah, it's just honestly, the Calgary Expo is a phenomenal, fantastic event, and we're going to talk about more of it. So if you're wondering what you can do at the Calgary Expo, um, when I first started going, which was 2010, I believe, uh, I had no idea what to do. All I did was walk the, you know, the, the vendor floor and take a look at the merch. I didn't know anything because I was so, like, noob to, to, like, going to conventions. And what's great about conventions is there's literally something for everyone and of all ages, too. So, um, if you want to go buy stuff then going to a big convention is like the best because there's vendors who sell everything. Uh, you can get toys, you can get video games, comics, uh, tons of clothes, like tons of different shirts, um, onesies, like everything. And there's tons of vendors that sell all of this. There's not just one vendor who's selling video games, for instance. There's everything. You can buy anything there. It's awesome. So if you want collectibles, board games, anything, you can buy it there, uh, which is great because it's kind of like all these different people and vendors come from all over the place, from the States, all over Canada, and they come to sell, you know, they put their little storefront uh, in the huge vendors hall. Like, it's massive. Uh, I usually do one day that's just devoted to the vendors because you walk up and down all the aisles and you have to decide what you're going to get. There's literally everything. There's people who sell, like, chain mail, like, like knights and armor kind of stuff. Like, it's literally anything. It's not just geeky, you know, action figures. So I think some people think that it's that. You can buy jewelry, you can buy artwork. There's tons of local artists, artists from all over the place that come, which is really cool, I think. And again, you can just seriously buy anything. Aside from going to see all the vendors and checking out everything you can buy, which is great, but that doesn't certainly make up a show. So 
there's tons of things. There's panels, uh, which are not just media guests. You don't just have to go see Stan Lee's panel, which was phenomenal, by the way. But you can also go to all sorts of other panels. Some of them are led by university professors, which are interesting. Uh, some of them are just run by different fans or people who have vlogs like me, um, blogs, that kind of thing, and all, all sorts of different topics. So there'll be like a panel where you can just go and talk about this specific thing that you're into. Like there might be a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles panel and everyone who likes that will go there and they can all discuss it together and someone will moderate it. Um, or you can go to the media panels like the big media guests and go see somebody like William Shatner, Billy Piper, Stan Lee, for instance. Um, and those are usually in quite big halls. Um, the Calgary Expo is held at the Stampede Grounds, which is a huge area, if, if you're not sure. And it's grown slowly over the years. When I first went, it was basically just in this one, you know, massive area, which was still big. Now it's in several buildings. It's everywhere. It's really grown and it's cool because this was my seventh time going and this year it's even bigger. So I just love that the whole city and everybody around truly embraces this uh, because it's not just a geeky thing anymore. There's people of all ages. I also saw people of all ages cosplaying. It's not just people, you know, teens and people in their 20s and 30s and stuff. It's everybody. The amount of, like, parenting wins that I saw were incredible. Um, like, parenting, you're doing it right. What I freaking love about these expos is the fact that you get to meet, um, if you want, the people that you idolize and look up to and have, you know, dreamed of meeting. Um, it's the one opportunity you think, oh, I can never meet a celebrity. It's like, go to an expo, go to a comic convention. You get to meet these people, you can get their autograph, you can get your picture with them. This year, there was nobody in particular that I really wanted a photo with. Um, I got my photo with Stan Lee back in 2012, and although I could have paid for another one, I think he's been to the Calgary Expo three or four times. Um, definitely, I believe, three times for sure. First time he came, I literally, like, my jaw dropped. I couldn't even handle it. I bought a photo up. I bought a, um, an autograph, and I do have his autograph. I do have a photo up with him, and I thought, you know, I don't... It takes away from the value of it if you continuously get a million pictures with these people. I the, the I can never get back the first time I met Stan Lee uh, because it was the most incredible moment. Like, I cannot describe to you how amazing it was when I met him um, and just what he said to me and his photo. He was so charismatic and he did the Spider-Man uh, pose with me and it's like, I couldn't even believe it just because he was just a big eye. Like, he's just a big eye. Like, I... I idolize Stanley so much. So, I don't, for me, it's kind of like, if I go meet him again, it's wonderful, but I can never get back that first moment. So, I don't need another picture with Stanley. So, I there was nobody I actually got a picture with. I love Doctor Who, but I just didn't care to have a picture with Billy Piper. I would prefer David Tennant, like I'm sure a lot of people would. Um, and William Shatner's great. I love Kirk, but in general, there was just nobody that I was like really willing to go pay for a photo next to. Now there's people who go to these things that don't do the panels. They don't go and meet famous people. They literally just go to play games. There is a whole section where you can play tabletop games. Uh, Calgary is home to the Sentry Box, which is like the world's largest um, tabletop game, like board game store, which is random that it's here, but it's here. Uh, Cause Will Wheaton was really excited when he's come here a few times and he's mentioned that cause he's obviously very into uh, tabletop gaming. And so he's, you know, it's a thrill for him when he came here to know that he's where the Sentry Box is. So they obviously have a booth and there's a whole area where you can go and just learn how to play tabletop games because believe it or not the world of tabletop gaming is something else go if you live in calgary or you go live anywhere uh go to the sentry box go to a place that sells these board games because i think when people think board games they think of scrabble and monopoly no and i'm not saying that because i just learned this myself I, i've known this but so many people don't know how big board games are, and they're incredible. Um, so there's a lot of cool things. And I know some of them have become more popular, like Settlers of Catan and T Take It to Ride. Um, but in general, uh, it's a whole other world. And so they provide that there. There's a whole area where you can watch people live streaming video games and play video games. Uh, there's like, cos they had a cosplay contest. I didn't go and I'm very upset because it looked so fun and I don't know why I've never gone. So next year, 100%, I'm going to the cosplay contest. Uh, sometimes they do movie screenings of different movies. 
this, they'll be there. They had an after party at Cowboys, which is a big, big, big nightclub here uh, that Joey Fatone was hosting randomly. He was a guest at the Calgary Expo this year, which is super random. Uh, the autographs are always fun. Let's talk about my autograph session with Char Charles Martinet. Hey everybody, I just met Charles Martinet. It was so awesome. He did all the voices and he signed Super Mario 3D World for me back as well. He wrote, here we go. And he said that everything he's wrote on here, he said, so like he said, woohoo and you the best. And it was like the best thing ever. And he was so nice. And I'm really excited about this because it's like the voice of gaming in my childhood. So wow, this is so exciting. Why this game? Sure. I could have had him sign Super Mario uh, 64, which I realize is iconic, his debut, but at the same time, I don't own Super Mario 64 anymore. Um, I'm slowly rebuilding my uh, N64 collection. And I, I own it on the DS. That's lame. I don't want him to sign a port. That's just not as exciting. Super Mario 3D World, on the other hand, to me was revolutionary. This was one of the best Mario games ever made, in my opinion. And I just, I enjoyed this so much. And I thought, you know... If I'm going to get him to sign a game, I might as well get him to sign basically one of my favorite Mario games because the other ones are, he wasn't in. There was no voice acting back on like the Super Nintendo and stuff. So this was incredible. Thank you so much, Charles Martinet, because oh my god, the amount of joy, that, and I'm sure you can tell on my face, uh, this was excellent. Uh, one of the things I love so much about these, again, is meeting people. And sometimes I get bummed because last year I didn't meet anybody. I don't know why. There were people I could have met, but... Uh, I just didn't, and this year it was like, there's always got to be one person. I always got to meet somebody, whether it's a photo op or an autograph, I got to meet somebody. And this year was Charles Martinet, and wow, like, he did not disappoint. Uh, the My smile when we left was just, like, I was Julia Robertsing everywhere. I'm just going to go over some panels uh, that I attended. I attended three panels this year. Uh, I could have attended more, but I was really, there were so, three panels I was really looking forward to. And uh, first one was Peter Mayhew, uh, who's Chewbacca from Star Wars. And that was pretty epic. All the panels I went to were actually held at the Corel, uh, which is a very a big venue. I mean, it's funny because when you say it holds 6,000 something people, it doesn't sound like that much. But when you're in there, it's quite big. Um, it's, it's the arena that we used to have here before they built, like, the big NHL-sized arenas um, from, like, you know, years ago. And they use it there, and it's great for panels. Peter Mayhew was excellent. Um, sometimes he was hard to understand, I'll be honest. Uh, but it was interesting hearing what he had to say and him, uh, you know, just his experiences as being Chewie because Chewie is such a beloved character in Star Wars. So that was cool seeing him just knowing all the great things he got to do and what he still gets to do. And uh, so that was really exciting um, to see him speak. Next was Billy Piper's panel. I saw her because I'm a huge Doctor Who fan and I just love Rose Tyler and Rose and Ten are just like, uh, like the shipping is unreal, so let's just go there. She was really good. I really enjoyed everything she had to say. She was funny. Um, she had really good audience interaction. Uh, her panel was quite good. Uh, the questions, everything, I, I really enjoyed it. So sh she was quite a thrill to see. Um, and she did hint that she would talk to David Tennant about coming. Last but not least was a, a panel that actually got me, I'll be honest with you, um, at the really big panels they show... Um, they show a little movie that's like kind of like gets you pumped and shows you, you know, the person you're going to see all their work and everything. Face front, heroes. This is Stan Lee. Believe it or not. Stan Lee. Yeah, uh, nice try. Mate. No, nice no, try. really. Uh, I'm Stan Lee. Uh, I 
silent figure slowly fades into the gathering darkness, aware at last that in this world, with great power, there must also come great responsibility. You know, I guess one person can make a difference. Enough said. <laughs> Let's have a big Calgary Expo welcome for the legend of Stan Lee. When they were showing Stan Lee's uh, little clip before he came out, uh, I literally got teary because I thought, he's just announced that he's not going to do conventions anymore. He's retiring from the convention scene. Okay, no kidding. He's like 93. I was getting, like, I started to get teary when they, they just showed it. I don't know. Like, I don't know why. I was like, oh my God, Stan Lee's coming out. It's the last time I'll see him. And I was, I was going to lose it. Um, I think it's just because the, he, I'm a huge Spider-Man fan. Like, I know the Marvel Universe is so big and there's so much stuff going on there. But for me, I connect with Spider-Man. And, like, I don't know why, but I was really into Spider-Man as a teenager. Like, really. Like, unhealthy obsession. Uh, Spider-Man pictures in my room. Like, like posters. Like, I just really like Spider-Man. And uh, it was, like, my favorite. Like, Spider-Man 2, for the longest time, was, like, my favorite movie ever. And, like, I just, I really connected with Spider-Man. I think it's because I, con I connect with Peter Parker as opposed to Spider-Man. I connected so much with Spider-Man, but I think the age group I connected with Spider-Man was so crucial. When you're a teenager, you always feel awkward. And so, I'm not, I don't want to say this because it's so cliche. Like, Spider-Man got me through my teenage years. Like, no. But... I really did connect with Spider-Man and it's kind of one of those things where you feel connection to the character and out of all the things like whether it's a certain movie or a book character or whatever, Peter Parker is the character I've always connected to and so Stan Lee created that. So uh, obviously a part of Peter Parker lives within Stan and so he's just like he created that universe for me, he created the character I love so much. So seeing Stan Lee is kind of like, it gets me all like teary because I don't know, it's just Spider-Man is so special. So whatever, that's my geeky lame speech of the day but Stanley's panel was fantastic I mean first of all he just walks right out like there's nothing to it like he's 93 Stanley is incredible he's honestly like I'm looking at him I'm thinking wow how inspirational is this guy he said he's been married to his wife for 67 years like what is that he, he talks as if he's like 30 he there's no there's no hint that he's like you know not of sound mind or anything. Like, Stan Lee is just... He's gonna live forever. I feel like he is superhuman. Like, the guy who created all these superheroes is, like, literally a superhero himself. He's incredible. Um, and one thing that he said was... It was just fantastic. Like, I thought, man, this is... I was just... Being in his presence is fantastic. He said... Somebody asked him, one of the panel question people. They came up and they said... You know, you're in all the Marvel movies, and he does cameos in all the Marvel movies, and they said, do you think of yourself kind of as a character now in the Marvel Universe because he's in all the movies now? And he just said, I am the Marvel Universe. And it was literally like, pfft, like everyone just freaked. So Stan Lee, Billy Piper, Peter, Peter Mayhew, awesome. I'm so excited I got to see those panels. So are these comic book conventions, as they were known, worth it? Yes, you need to go. What are you doing if you're not going to one of these? They're phenomenal. They're just... The whole experience is wonderful and it's something that I think everyone needs to experience because I think people don't get it. They don't understand the magnitude of how big some of these things are. They're, they're just massive. When you think about it, Calgary's a city of just over a million people. It's a big city. It's the third biggest city in Canada. Well, 103,500 people came out to it this year. That's like one tenth the population going to this. Like that's a huge deal. Um, not a lot of things where they get that kind of, you know, those kind of numbers for something like this. So you have to think about it in terms like that. It's a huge deal. And there's something for everyone, like I said. You don't have to go there to go and see some famous person yak about stuff. Go for, like, the merch. Go for the food. <laughs> like, go for whatever. Like, go because you literally want to dress up as a Ghostbuster. In fact, there's a Ghostbuster Society of Calgary or Alberta. Correct me if I'm wrong, but they're always there. And it's like, I'm not sure what they do, but that's a thing that exists. There's something for everybody, whether you like mobile gaming, you know, console gaming, PC gaming, reading manga, 
anime. You literally just like scary movies. Like, whatever. Because you could dress up as Freddy Krueger there and nobody cares. Everyone comes because they have a passion. And they have a passion for a specific thing. And that's what unites everybody there. Because you come out and you go, well, me. I like geek culture of all sorts. Movies, whatever. But I'm a huge, you know, I love video games. And I come for that. And I come and I cosplay. This year, (laughs) I dressed up. As Spider-Man, because I love Spider-Man. Uh, I wore a Monokuma outfit that I bought there because I love Danganronpa, uh, which is <laughs> a really niche visual novel sort of horror game uh, that's also an anime. You can do whatever you want. I dressed up as Jareth from Labyrinth. The most awkward part about Expo is now I'm dressed like this and I want to go to a restaurant. <laughs> and then my boyfriend's like, that's not really geeky though. And I'm like, it is. It is though. It, it might be a normal movie, but at the same time, it's like a weird, geeky... He's the Goblin King? Like, it's geeky. So, and I love David Bowie, and it's the 30th anniversary of Labyrinth, so I felt like I couldn't go wrong. I had to I had to do some kind of a Bowie tribute. Um, and people really dug it. I was walking around as Jareth, and people were like, Yo, Jareth! And the best thing that happened was I was just looking at some stuff. I was, like, looking at some books at this uh, vendor table some art books and this guy ran past me and he started singing dance magic dance and he just ran past he's like you remind me of the babe and then like ran away and if you guys have seen the movie you know exactly what i'm talking about it just made me smile because people love it They, they they love going up to people seeing characters kids god if i was a kid i would love it there's a guy dressed up as darth vader he couldn't get kids away from him there's so many kids like taking pictures with darth vader um there was one guy who had a had a had a baby in like a BB-8 outfit and I'm pretty sure that guy could get nothing done because he couldn't move two steps without people like, can I have your picture? Can I have your picture? Uh, because it was like the best like costume ever. Um, and everybody, like they were all dressed up, that whole family, it was incredible. Um, but like I said, you do whatever there. It's literally geek, nerd, whatever, fandom Christmas. I look forward to this every year. Um, because it's such a big one. There's other, um, expos, obviously, and other conventions, but the Calgary Expo is kind of like my expo, and I love going, and I just love that my expo, like the one in my city, is so big. Like, it never used to be that big, and it's just grown and grown, and I think that's fantastic. So, please check out Calgary Expo if you're ever in Canada or in the area, because it's a really well done, um, expo, and, you know, there's not really anything to say bad about it. Uh, it's it's quite well done and it's all run by volunteers and I you know other than the odd yelling where you can't stop uh sometimes they'll say like you know move along you you can't stop and there's some people yelling like you gotta move and there's a little bit of disorganized stuff going on but in general I say it's a wonderfully run convention absolutely great uh worth all of it there's just You can't go wrong with going. I'm just going to quickly show off a few things that I bought there because I didn't buy that much. Uh, Obviously, you've seen this. I didn't buy it there, but it's something I paid for to have him sign. Um, And it's phenomenal. But, (laughs) but, uh, I also bought this amazing Monokuma (laughs) onesie that I've wanted to buy on the internet. And I saw it there and I thought, whatever, I'm buying it right now. So, this incredible... Geeky onesie that I bought is of Monokuma, who's one of my favorite villains of all time. Uh, people who like Danganronpa will, like, love this. Uh, I got it from a uh, booth there called Kirigumi. I'll leave their link so you can buy stuff from them on the internet. Um, they were awesome. They had tons of these. Uh, stuff like this. Of all sorts of things. Um, and I saw the Monokuma one. So it's basically a huge onesie. And you wear it. And you basically look like Monokuma. And, like, when you're walking around, like, you'll have this, like, the... It's so geeky and like, but hey, I love anime and I love visual novels and I, obviously you guys know how much I love the Vita. (laughs) So I couldn't resist, I could not resist uh, the Monokuma onesie. Sticking to the Danganronpa theme here, uh, I saw this and I thought, why not? Because I'm such a fan. Uh, But it's the very first issue of the Danganronpa manga, which is obviously based off the animation. Um, which I have actually never seen fully because I couldn't find it in Japanese and I like refuse to watch it in English because the English voice acting to me it was just awful. I played all the games in Japanese that I could and uh, 
Yeah, this uh, looks really fun. Uh, I obviously know what happens, but it'll be fun to revisit it because I haven't played the first one since uh, 2014. So I'm obviously going to be a little foggy. But I thought, hey, why not? I support anything Danganronpa because it is phenomenal. If you guys have not played this game, it's worth owning a Vita for. Last but not least, what is going to a comic book convention uh, without buying an awesome Funko figure because I like them so much? And I got a Tuscan Raider. Um, I love these. Uh, I'm getting a bit too many. I have some at work. I have some at home on my nightstand. Like, they're everywhere. But I just, I love the Tuscan Raiders. I don't know what it is about them. They're like these misunderstood people um, who are, you know, they're so violent. But when you look them up on, like, Star Wars, like, on, like, Wikipedia, you're like, oh, these are, these are just people trying to get by. And that is really nerdy. Holy smokes. But anyway, I bought the Tuscan Raider figure. That's really all I have to talk about for the 2016 Calgary Expo. Uh, this video has gone on way too long, but it's my vlog and uh, I vlog when I want to. And I just had a fantastic time. I look forward to it every year. I'm already planning on what I want to dress up as uh, next year. Uh, because, as you guys know, I really like to dress up there. You don't have to. You don't have to go to these conventions to dress up. It just makes it more fun. And, yeah, sure, the attention is nice. But I, I really just love it. I, I love... You buy these costumes, you want to get more use out of them, right? So I just love my Spider-Man costume. It's so awesome. Uh, because it's a pretty good one. And, uh... Yeah, it's the Calgary Expo is phenomenal. I have, it's I only have great things to say, and I recommend that you go. And if you can't go to the Calgary Expo, I recommend that you go to a Expo. If there's one near you, go. And you if you haven't gone, um, because they really are incredible. It's an experience that you you just you'll know when you go. So that's everything I have to talk about the Calgary Expo 2016. This is cool. Dan Parent actually drew this who d draws for Archie. Um, he was there. Uh, anyway, so that's uh, everything I have to say. This is my souvenir book that I got. Um, I always keep these just because they're so fun and I always remember my experience every year because they, it, this is just, it, this is, it's like, like I said, it's a place where if you like something, you can go and share your passion for it with other people and everybody comes together and it's just a wonderful experience. So check it out, go to the Calgary Expo and like this video, subscribe, definitely comment and I'll see you guys later.